So what are you doing with your leftover coffee? That leftover coffee sitting on your counter just might be able to transform your home, cooking and beauty routines. Just a few easy steps and your everyday leftovers can make a big difference. Coffee isn't just for drinking anymore. My thanks to Amanda Prahl, whose article inspired this video. Please read her whole article at the link listed. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and get involved. Both leftover coffee, as in the actual liquid, and coffee grounds can have an array of uses within your home. They can perk up your food and drink, repel pests, and turn into do-it-yourself solutions for plenty of issues that crop up in your daily life. Plus, you're improving your sustainable habits. Here are just a few ways you can get the most out of those caffeinated leftovers. Start with coffee ice cubes. Coffee ice cubes are an easy hack for a few quick and tasty coffee drinks. Add them to fresh hot coffee to cool it down and make an instant iced coffee without watering down the drink. Or pour some milk over the cubes and let them dissolve to create an instant iced latte. You can even bake with leftover coffee. Adding a teaspoon or so of fresh espresso is a popular hack to deepen and highlight chocolate flavor. Whether in a baked item like a cake or brownie, or in a chocolate ganache or frosting. The idea is usually to get just enough espresso to enrich the chocolate flavor without making the recipe simply coffee flavored. Did you know that you can keep pests away with coffee grounds? Between the smell and the toxicity, coffee grounds can help to keep away mosquitoes, beetles, flies, slugs, and other home and garden pests. Just follow these steps for a pest-free home. Collect used coffee grounds after brewing. Set in small bowls around the area you want to keep pest-free. Alternately, or in addition to step two, sprinkle some of the grounds around your patio, outdoor seating, and or doors to your home. If you have a garden, sprinkle some coffee grounds around the perimeter. It's a win all around. You get a cleaner, pest-free patio and garden, and it's all done using a sustainable, natural option, reducing waste and avoiding toxic, smelly chemicals. You can even remove stubborn odors with coffee grounds. All you have to do is let your leftover coffee grounds dry out then try one of these ideas. Pour a small amount into a container or bowl and leave it in the fridge or freezer to absorb food smells. Pour a small amount into an old thin sock or pantyhose and tie off to make a deodorizing sachet for your closet, gym bag, or anywhere else. Keep a small bowl by the sink and use some to rub over your hands after handling some smelly foods like garlic or onions. Use coffee grounds to exfoliate. Leftover coffee grounds can turn into a beauty hack. I bet you wish you had known about this sooner. Follow these steps for an easy do-it-yourself face and body scrub. Combine equal parts used coffee grounds and brown sugar. Add a small amount of coconut oil or jojoba oil just until the ingredients form a loose paste. Apply to the skin, gently massaging as you go to get the exfoliating properties. Let sit for 3-5 to five minutes, then rinse and wipe thoroughly using cold water. Use coffee grounds to repair or cover up scratches on wood furniture. Coffee can leave behind dark, hard-to-remove stains, which is a pain for your laundry, but great for restaining small scratches on your wood furniture. Try the simple process to cover up scratches on your furniture. Let wet coffee grounds cool completely. Scoop a small amount 
of the cooled, still wet grounds onto the scrubbed, scratched area. Let it sit for a few minutes. The longer it sits, the darker the stain will be, so you may need to check the grounds more frequently for lighter colored wood. Gently wipe away with a soft cloth. If the stain is not dark enough on top of the scratch, repeat the process until it is sufficiently repaired. Why not clean your dishes and cookware with coffee grounds? Because coffee grounds are both abrasive and somewhat acidic, they can work great to break down grime and get your dishes, pots, pans, and utensils clean. This is not recommended for delicate or porous dishes. Follow these steps to tackle stubborn grime on your dishware. Begin by rinsing the dishes with your usual warm soapy water. Put a couple of teaspoons of coffee grounds on the dishes where you want to scrub. Then scrub gently using a regular dish sponge. Repeat if needed until it's clean. Wash and rinse as normal to remove the coffee residue. You can also use these coffee grounds for cleaning kitchen surfaces like sinks or grills. Just be careful to avoid using them on particularly porous or unfinished materials as a coffee residue may seep in and leave stains behind. Bet you never realize that coffee isn't just for drinking anymore. Stay safe, stay secure, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.